Listen to this, said Paddy to Mick, last night while I was down at the pub with you, a burglar broke into my house. Did he get anything? Mick asked. Yeah, says Paddy a broken jaw, six teeth knocked out, and a pair of busted nuts. The wife thought it was me coming home drunk. At a girls' college hostel, visits and dates were permitted only on Saturday nights. One young man showed upon a Tuesday evening explaining to an older woman in the lobby of the dorm that it was imperative that he see a certain young lady immediately. He said, I want to surprise her. I am her brother. Oh, she'll be surprised all right, said the woman. But hink of how surprised I am. I'm her mother and I do not have a son. <laughs> Wife said to her husband. I have a bag full of used clothing I'd like to donate. Husband said, why not just throw it in the trash? That's much easier. Wife said, but there are poor starving people who can really use all these clothes. Husband said, honey, anyone who fits in your clothing is not starving. Husband is recovering from a head injury now. An elderly Italian man who lived on the outskirts of Rimini, Italy, went to the local church for confession. When it was his time to confess, the man said, Father, during World War II, a beautiful Jewish woman from our neighborhood knocked urgently on my door and asked me to hide her from the Nazis. So I hid her in my attic. The priest replied, That was a wonderful thing you did, and you have no need to confess that. There is more to tell. She started to repay me with sexual favors. This happened several times a week, and sometimes twice on Sundays. The priest said, that was a long time ago and by doing what you did, you placed the two of you in great danger, but two people under those circumstances can easily succumb to the weakness of the flesh. However, if you are truly sorry for your actions, you are indeed forgiven. Thank you father. That's a great load off my mind. I do have one more question. And what is that? Asked the priest. Should I tell her the war is over? <laughs> 